What's going on guys? My name is Nicole Charnel and in today's video I am going to do my 2021 bullet journal setup. I enjoy bullet journaling very much and I use it to keep myself organized and on task. So I wanted to share my bullet journal with you guys on my channel for this upcoming year. For the whole year of 2020 I used a bullet journal and um, it was also from Archer and Olive. So this year I decided to go with another Archer and Olive. I got a light pink color. I love this color, it's so beautiful. The notebook I have is a dot grid notebook, 160 GSM, ultra thick paper, and it's in the light pink and it has a floral design on the front um, in gold. Each Archer and Olive comes with two bookmarks, this very thick paper, um, it's really good for like watercolor or painting. One of the bookmarks has like a little emblem, like the Archer and Olive uh, logo on it. It also has a pen loop and a pocket in the back if you choose to use it. Um, but these notebooks are really great if you like bullet journaling. I definitely recommend them. I've used a couple of different notebooks, but this one is definitely my number one fave. So I'm just going to start by putting my name in the front, my first name and my middle name, <laughs> Nicole Chanel. I've been practicing my hand lettering. I am getting better. I would like to say I feel like I'm getting better. I definitely am visually improving. <laughs> so I'm super excited uh, to continue to get better at that. And then I just glued the first two pages together because they're a little wonky. So I just like tape them or glue them together. So my first spread in my 2020 bullet journal is going to be a grid spacing spread. If you know anything about bullet journaling, you need the bullets. You kind of need a grid. You need to know where you're going to put your lines. So a grid spacing spread is really good for that. Uh, you basically just count out the bullets. And so you kind of put like the numbers on the top and on the side. And then you put in the common uh, divisions that you would use. So the most common are like half third and quarters. So I just put those in um, in different colors. I'm using a really just muted color palette. Um, I want it to be cohesive throughout the whole thing and I really love these colors that I've chosen. Um, so I just kind of just went with these muted colors. The next page I'm going to do is my key and I'm still using a key because I'm still fairly new to bullet journaling. This will only be my second full year doing it. So I still use my key. Um, People who have bullet journal for a long, much longer usually don't use a key or some of them don't, but I use it just so I know what my, my symbols are going to mean and just to kind of keep me on track. So I use different symbols. The main ones I use are just task, uh, which is like a dot and then like note and then you use a, a symbol for crossing out and completing items and you can use a symbol pretty much for anything, but that's what my key and hold, it just holds the symbols that I commonly use. And so I just use this big block lettering to write out key and then some stickers from one of my Happy Planner uh, sticker books. And then on my next page, I'm just going to write out the year 2021. I use this big block lettering. I've been seeing this a lot in different um, bullet journal spreads. And I wanted to use it because it just looks beautiful. Like I love the way it looks it's like sleek and still a little bit girly at the same time because of the way the numbers are curved. But anyway, so I, I decided to use this font and I just sketched it out with the pencil first. And then I'm just going in with my markers and filling it, filling it in all black. And then uh, the sticker book there on the left, I'm going to use that to put the flowers around the numbers. So I am kind of just really getting into doodling, but I'm not the best doodler. And I love flowers. I love flower stickers. I love floral um, looks, like just how they, how they look, how flowers are combined and all of that. So I kind of decided to use this as my theme for my setup, um, like botanicals, flowers, uh, these really muted pinks and greens. And uh, this really just embodies the things that I like and what, how I like my bullet journal to look. So that's really why I chose these colors and these stickers and the stickers mainly because I'm still working on my doodling. The next spread I have is my quote um, for my 2021 setup. And this angle kind of got messed up uh, when I was filming. And it, this quote is actually a scripture. It says, I will give you a new heart 
with new and right desires, and I will put a new spirit in you. Ezekiel 36, 26. So I wanted to use that as my quote of the year. Just remember there's new things and that God is going to show me new things in this new year. The next spread I'm going to do is my future log. This spread I didn't use too much last year, uh, but I intend on using it much more this year. So I decided to keep it in, in my bullet journal for the new year, even though I didn't use it a lot. I want to use it, so I decided to put it in again. And I first thought I was just going to put the first six months of the year because I was thinking I might only get through six months in this bullet journal. Um, but I ended up actually going back and putting the rest of the months in, um, in, in my future log. But anyway, I just put the months at the top. I put a little initial for each month, January through June, and then I used a stamp. So here I'm just, uh, fixing my mistakes with like a white gel pen and filling in the numbers that my stamp kind of missed when I was stamping. Um, I'm really excited about using this stamp in my bullet journal because it's just super convenient to have a monthly uh, just right there and you know each day of each month um, but without having to write out each one each time. <laughs> so the next spread I have is a goal spread and on the left side of the page I'm just writing out things that my goals are going to embody so each one um, the first one is make smarter goals, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time-bound, evaluable, and revisable. The second one is write it down. I want to write down each of my goals. Number three is break it down. I need them to be in manageable steps so I can accomplish them. Number four is hold yourself accountable. I need to make sure I'm holding myself to a standard. Number five, develop systems, habits and systems that will help me achieve my goals. And number six is reward yourself. So once I accomplish my goal, I'm going to give myself a reward. And on the right side of the page, I decided to just do a um, kind of like section off my page because I want to put my goals in there. Uh, but I decided I'm going to do quarterly goals just to keep them really small. I've been um, reading a lot about like 12 week goals or quarterly goals and how it's just easier for you to achieve them, achieve them easier for you to stay on track. You won't get lost within your goal. So I decided to do it that way. I haven't decided exactly which one I'm going to put in which box yet. So that's why I didn't kind of put titles in there, but I really like this layout. Very simple, very easy for me, for me to uh, work with. And the last spread in my setup is actually going to be a vision board. So the last few years I've been doing a vision board, like a whole poster type vision board and I really enjoy doing that and I still might do it again this year but then I saw a couple people putting their vision board inside of their bullet journal and I kind of love that idea just having something that's always there in your journal you can look back at you can add to um, you can kind of change around so but I like that thought of having my vision board always with me in my bullet journal no matter where I am or I'm working on bullet journal I always have my vision board with me so I kind of love that. So that's the last spread in my setup. Super easy, simple, minimal. Um, I just wanted to put in spreads that I knew that I was going to use and that would be good for me. Since then, I've thought of other things that I want to add in, but I'm just going to take my time. I don't want to overwhelm myself with putting too much in my bullet journal. So here I'm just going to do a little flip through and once again show you how I set it up with my cover page um, all the way to my vision board page. I really enjoy bullet journaling. I think it's a great way uh, to just let go of some creativity and also still get things out on paper in front of me so I can accomplish and achieve my goals, so I can move on to the next step and what I need to do and just to keep me organized in general. Like sometimes it's just as simple as writing down my tasks, getting them out on paper, seeing where my events are in the year, where I want to plan my events, the things I need to look forward to in the future, the things I need to take care of. Sometimes it's just as easy as writing them down, having them all in one place so I can plan accordingly. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one a little different than my vlogmas videos have been, but this is something that I'm doing to prepare for the new year. If you enjoy planning or bullet journaling, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you're doing to prepare for 2021, what you're doing with your journal or your planner to get ready for the new year. Everybody's talking about leaving this year behind. It's all about moving forward and just leaving the past in the past and living in the present. 
thanks for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you come back and check me out for another one make sure you like comment and subscribe so you can see more of me thanks for watching guys see you in my next one bye